Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create the appropriate relationships between the tables in your database, you will need to set the properties of the table joins to ensure that they are created in the way that you would like. The main join property that you will need to set is the referential integrity of the join. Referential integrity refers to the built-in set of rules that Access uses to ensure that the relationship between the data within the joined fields of the tables remains valid. It ensures that every unique value within the related field in the child table, or the many table within a one-to-many join, has a corresponding value to which it is related in its parent table, or the one table in a one-to-many join. This ensures that when you delete a record within the parent table, that all of the related records within the child table aren't orphaned or without a reference to a record in the parent table. This also prevents you from having meaningless data within your database tables, like a sale record that does not have an appropriate customer reference. Now in order to set up referential integrity, the relationship that exists between the fields within the joined tables must fall within these three rules. First, the related field in the parent table must be the primary key within that table. Two, the related fields in both tables must share the same or compatible data types. And three, both tables must belong to the same database. As long as you've got a relationship that falls in line with these rules, you can enforce referential integrity upon it. To do this, just check the checkbox for Enforce Referential Integrity within the Edit or Create Relationships dialog box that appears when you initially create a table relationship. Now, below that, there are two options that can be set once you have elected to apply referential integrity. You can choose Cascade Update Related Fields and or Cascade Delete Related Records. Checking the Cascade Update Related Records checkbox will ensure that if a data value is changed in the joined field within the parent table, that that change will be cascaded to the related data in the joined field of the child table, updating those records as well. Checking the cascade delete related records will ensure that if you delete a record in the parent table, all of the related records in the child table will be deleted as well. Note that there is also a join type button that exists in the edit relationships dialog box. If you click it, you will be presented with the three types of possible ways that the data between the tables could be related within the Join Properties dialog box. Most often, you will not need to change these settings, as you normally want Join Type 1 in a relational database. However, if you do change the Join Type settings in this window as part of the Join Between the Tables, note that this permanently alters the way that data between the two tables is related. You can select either option 1, 2, or 3 in the Join Properties dialog box and then click the OK button to return to the Edit Relationships dialog box. Note that when you choose a join type other than the default of 1, the join lines that are shown within the Relationships window change to join arrows. These arrows reflect the direction of the join between the two tables per your selection within the Join Properties dialog box. When you've set any options you want to apply to the relationship within the Edit Relationships dialog box, click either the Create or OK buttons to set the join relationship. Note that to edit the join in the future to change any settings, you must double click the join line itself that appears within the Relationships window to view its properties. Now to delete a table join, you can right click on the table join that you want to delete and then simply select the delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.